FM 20 mm f1.4 lens from Olympus after several months of using this lens. Was it worth it? Let's find out in this video now. Hi there and welcome to my channel. My name is Tudor Matescu and I like to talk about photography gear tips and tricks. I am also using a Micro Four Sus camera, a Fuji camera and a Sony camera. So if you are interested in photography and different system comparison in real world use, please be sure to subscribe now, now, now to my channel. And let's get to the subject. I was asked some questions regarding this lens after doing the review and the questions were, does this lens have purple fridging, loca and all kinds of chromatic aberrations? And I said, okay, let me test it, let me test it. So I took the camera, I took the lens and I go out shooting, I don't know, like a photographer, trees, branches <laughs> and all kinds of, I don't know, uh, all kinds of scenes to find out if this lens is having the purple fringe. And it was sun outside, it was sun outside. So this is how the photographers are shooting. They are shooting in the sun with the lens at f1.4 to find out if the lens is good, to find out if the lens is flaring or it's, to find out if this lens have loca, lateral aberrations and so on and so on. Anyway, so I've tested this lens and uh, before doing the review, also I've shot my kids, I've done some portraits with this lens in contrasty situations and I didn't see any purple fidgeting and any loca aberrations and so on. So I looked at the branches, I looked at the trees, I looked at the leaves. I will not put here the pictures because it doesn't have any sense for me, for me. These kinds of tests aren't having sense for me. I like to shoot and I like to test gear in real world shooting scenarios. But I've done this test because, let's see, if a real photographer is shooting with a lens at f1.4 in bright sun, then I must do this. So anyway, I've done this test and no loca, no purple fringing, none of this. And I was really amazed and I was really amazed because yes, even more expensive lenses than this lens, than this lens will give you loca and chromatic aberrations if you shoot them wide open at f1.4 in bright sunny days and in contrasty situations. Maybe just lenses with Apple design are uh, lenses that will not give you those chromatic aberrations. But yes, I didn't see any chromatic aberration. So you can rest assured that this lens will not ruin your photos. But again, but again, I can't uh, separate the gear from the photography composition, from the photographical thinking. If it's bright outside and I want to use the lens at f1.4, I will use this lens to shoot portraits. I will use this lens to shoot portraits. And I also can use an ND filter or a polarized filter to get what I want to get. And this will make those chromatic aberrations go down. And of course, I will not shoot again landscapes in bright sunny days at an f1.4 aperture. It's not me, I'm sorry. But for portrait photography, for street photography, I didn't see any, any problems. So regarding image quality and regarding this um, IQ problems, image quality problems, I must add the fact that this lens, it is stellar. It's, it's a stellar lens. The bokeh, beautiful. The feather bokeh for portraits extraordinary in front and behind the subject. So this is a very, very optimized lens at this focal lens. We can't have pretension from this lens to act as a 50 millimeter lens and have that background and that compression of a 50 millimeter lens on the micro the 25 millimeters focal lens compression. No. So from my point of view, image quality, it is stellar, it is stellar on this lens. So, yes, very, very good image quality. The next point that I want to address, it is the AF. The AF, stellar AF, stellar AF. So, stellar AF, stellar image quality, beautiful. This lens, it is destroying my X100V when I'm using it indoors. The portraits, the skin, the faces, the background separation, all it's very, very dreamy, you can, get extra extraordinary and very very good 
pleasing magical portraits with this lens if you know what you are doing. Of course, you must get close to the subject. And that is very, very important. Because again, it's a wide lens. It's a wide lens. It's not a short tele. It's, an, it's not a 15 millimeter lens. So you must know how to use this lens to get what you want from this lens. Stellar image quality, stellar AF. So all is good till now. But I have a problem. And the problem is not the fact that I don't have any buttons on this lens because I don't need all kinds of buttons. The problem is the fact that this weight and size, this weight and size, it's making even the small OMD M10 Mar 4 front heavy. And all this package, it's, it's pretty heavy. It's not light as an X100V, but more important, but more important, it's not light as OMD M10 Mar 4 with the 70 mm f1.8 lens. So this is where the tricky part comes into play when I'm asking myself if it was worth it if it was worse because this lens it is pricey this lens it is pricey and this lens i was able to buy it brand brand new very very cheap so this lens was one third of this lens regarding prices this lens it's also having an extraordinary very good af good minimum to focus distance a manual focusing clutch metal build and also the bokeh of this lens it is good it is good again you must get close to get the bokeh it's not a feather bokeh but does the price of this lens size and weight and the feather bokeh are deserving the price are deserving the effort to take this lens with you from my point of view it depends it really depends i feel that this lens can replace the 20 mm f1.4 in the majority of cases. It is an f1.8 lens. You have here an f1.8 and here an f1.4, but you'll gain the light factor. You'll gain the portability of your Lumix camera or of your Olympus camera. So this is very, very important. So the problem in the end for me, it is the fact that this lens, it is pretty heavy and is not so small how I've hoped. It is balancing good, it is balancing good, but when I'm taking this camera with this lens or with another pancake lens, it is something else than when I'm taking this camera with this 20 mm f1.4 lens, f1.4 lens. The rendering, it is beautiful, but again, if this lens was half the size and half the weight, not talking about the price, I feel that yes, the lens was worth it. The lens was worth it. But the fact that this lens, it is heavy, it's making me having some problems because again, I'm a multi-system user. So if you aren't a multi-system user, so if you don't have a Fujifilm camera or a Sony camera, so you can compare different systems with similar focal lenses and field of view lenses, then you will not have a problem. But this body with this lens in real world uh, use in my camera bag i'm feeling the same like a fuji x pro 3 camera with a 40 mm equivalent lens or like a sony with samyang 45 meters f1.8 lens yes on paper the weight it's more but the volume and the form are similar are similar so in real world use for my personal use i feel i didn't gain any weight advantage and lightness and uh, portability advantage with this lens so this is where my problem is my problem is not with the af with the image quality and with all other stuff no my problem is the fact that i am not thrilled to take this lens as an everyday carry i'm not thrilled to take this lens as an everyday carry i do prefer and i love the 40 millimeters field of view but for this i would prefer to use the small pancake from lumix the 20 millimeters f1.7 lens yes the f1.7 it's not as sharp as this lens of course and that lens it's under optically this lens but it's doing the job and at f4 at 5.6 the differences are small are small uh, again it really depends it really depends but yes what i don't like about this it is the weight and size and price the weight size and price but regarding the optical qualities of, of this lens they are stellar they are stellar optical qualities and if you have a single system an olympus system or a micro forces lumix camera then yes this lens may be a good lens for you may be a good lens for you the af it is very very fast but also again this lens it is cheaper it's having 
very, very good image quality, extraordinary build quality, and the field of view between this lens and this lens, on a Micro Four Sun schema, I don't feel there is a very much big difference regarding this field of view. And if you'll activate the slide feature from Olympus, how I've called it, check this video link in the card, then you'll have the 40 millimeters field of view in your camera frames. In the end, I feel that uh, this lens, it's a beautiful, beautiful lens with very, very good image quality with beautiful feather bokeh. But I feel you can replace this 20mm f1.4 lens by using the 70mm f1.8 lens from Olympus or the pancake lens from Lumix, the 20mm f1.7. For me, these choices are a better, a better way to do street photography, family photography, product photography, YouTube thumbnails and so on. Yes, this lens is beautiful again, again. If you are using one system and you want the best, the best in that system, then go for it, then go for it. But if you are using multiple systems or you are on a budget or you are on a budget, then don't worry. These lenses, this or this will suit you very, very well. So thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe now, now, now to my channel for more content like this. And please be sure to check my membership part of my YouTube channel and become a supporter to support me in doing photography gear reviews, real world photography gear reviews. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe now, now, now to my channel. Leave me a comment and talk to you soon. Bye bye. Just trying to make something out of nothing, you know. You never wanted silver, gold, or the finer things Just some wife and kids, a home in the American dream